Ladies and gentlemen, the Marina Hawk. Tonight's game is sponsored by the Ohio High School Athletic Association. Hello and welcome inside Domino's Gymnasium inside Springboro High School for tonight's MVCC Varsity Game of the Week as the 7-1 Springboro Panthers are set to host the 6-3 Miamisburg Vikings. Looks like you're going to have number 5, Dara Russo, out to go up against number 30, Anaya Trent for Springboro for the opening jump. Opening tip is won by the Panthers. Springboro trying to get some motion going towards the basket. You see Crozier now has it. Almost throws it away, but knocked out of bounds off of Russo. It's going to stay with the Panthers. Ball almost stolen away. Crozier in the corner, dribbles back out. Drive in, up off the glass, no good, but they're gonna go to line for two. That is number 12, Bryn Martin, who comes in as the team's leading scorer. Averaging just over 15 points a game, I believe. No, 15 even. That foul was on number two and a long. Second free throw is no good. Rebound for Miamisburg was number 21, Lacey Perkins. Perkins kicks it over to Frymoyer. Back to Perkins, drives in, kick out. Miamisburg moves the ball a lot, moves it quickly, moves it well. Russo drive up off the glass for Haas is good. I know that's actually Jordan Barr. Really good feed, really good basket, all around good play. You see Trent here at the top of the key, trying to get it down low to Downing. Downing up off the glass, gets it to go. Kick over in the corner to Frymoyer. She gonna dribble back out and give it to Long. Drive in by Long, dribbles back out. Kick up top of the key to Haas. Frymoyer drives high up off the glass and it goes out of bounds. And Long actually eclipsed her thousandth point in high school. 
earlier this year, I believe, against Lebanon. Four-year starter from Miamisburg. Trent up off the glass. And Trent's really one of their bigger players. You're going to see if she's able to take advantage of that size tonight. Russo with an easy layup at the other end. Keeps it a one possession game. Trent comes in averaging nine points a game, nine rebounds a game, and three assists. So multi-use for the freshman. That's nearly a double-double, especially as a freshman. That's pretty impressive. Down low to Trent. Trent, a little bit too much off the top of the glass. Fry Moyer gets it now. Russo trying to find some separation. Haas almost lost it. Fry Moyer's three at the other side is good. Deep three. Puts Miamisburg in front. For correction, that was Allie Haas, not Fry Moyer. Nice, easy layup there for Chloe Downing. That was a great response. Immediately making those points back up, back to a tie ball game. Another easy bucket there for the, that was Lacey Perkins. Miamisburg has taken a two-point lead, their first of the game. Drive in, Downing launches a three, skips off the side of the rim, out of bounds. Gonna stay with Springboro. Bryn Martin with another easy layup. Bryn Martin with the two. And Springboro's definitely got size on Miamisburg, so expect a lot of shots inside the paint for Springboro. Long kicks it back up top of the key. Perkins gives it back to Russo. Russo lost it momentarily. Now up top to Barr. Kick over Long. Tries to drive in, kicks it back out. Russo down low to Long, and Long is fouled by hate number three, Haley Crozier. Gonna send Long to the free throw line. Makes them both does and along. Down low drive, try to by here by Martin. Now Crozier, back up top to Trent. Kick over, Martin's gonna drive baseline, kicks it to Trent, saved by Crozier but turns it over. And Crozier, or no, let's see, that is number 11. Morgan Meek will be tagged for a foul there. Great hustle getting back on defense. She didn't let him have any easy points, but unfortunately she did foul him. Russo, 
Caruso misses the first. You can see Bree Brightwell check into the game for Miamisburg. Both free throws are missed by Russo. Ball was tipped. Trent saves it. Crozier drives in, kicks up top. Downing's three is nothing but nylon. And these two teams are just trading blows back and forth in this opening quarter. Relatively high scoring quarter for both of these two. Pull up from the free throw line. Bright Wells free throw line jumper is good. Miamisburg takes back the lead. There's been multiple lead changes here in this first Ball quarter. tipped out of bounds off of Russo. Gives it over to Crozier. She's going to drive in. Went for a cross-court pass, and Springboro turns it over the third time this quarter. Springboro was able to come up with it. Three downing, no good. But Trent gets the rebound. Crozier's three waved off because she traveled. 50.9 seconds left here in the first quarter. Miamisburg holding a 13 to 12 lead. You see Anna Long gonna bring the ball up. Miamisburg might look and hold for the last shot. Long gets it back from Perkins. 27 seconds left now. Long trying to drive into the paint, but Springboro's defense not allowing it. Perkins with 15 seconds left, kicks it back up top to Barr. Down low to Brightwell. Brightwell knocked away by Trent. Nine seconds left. Perkins looking back for instructions. At the buzzer, doesn't get it to fall. And that is how the first quarter will end. Miamisburg leading 13 to 12 over Springboro. And like you said, kind of trading body blow for body blow. As each team, neither team really had a more than a one or two point lead. And I was really impressed by Miamisburg that quarter. You know, they're definitely at a disadvantage with the size but they're just going in, they're attacking the paint. They're not gonna be intimidated by the big girls that Springboro has. And that has them with a one point lead entering this second quarter of play. Springboro looks to keep on their winning streak. They've won their last five games coming into play tonight, tied for first in G-Walk with Centerville. And last Saturday, Springboro beat Centerville 48 to 40, or 49 to 48. And Miamisburg right there in the thick of things, just two games back at three and two in the conference. Yeah, this is a very heavy hitting game. Both teams come in with winning records. It's going to be a hard fight to the finish here tonight. Perkins thought about the three. A 
You see Barr drives in, kicks it up top. Bruce, or Long, back up top to Barr. Whipping it around to Brightwell, and she is fouled by Trent. And the home crowd is not happy about that call. Yeah, I didn't see a whole lot of contact there, but obviously the ref did, and he gave him the foul. First free throw is good for Brightwell. And the second one is two. Miamisburg adds now the three point lead. Yeah, now they've got a little breathing room. The most that Springboro can do is tie up the game. They cannot take a lead in one possession. A crazy shot. I'm going to count the end one. See down low here. Trent fights for the loose ball, gets it up off the glass. Really an impressive put back by Trent. Foul was on number 23, Brightwell. Trent completes the three point play and ties it up. So just when you thought that Miamisburg was going to start to open up that lead, Springboro closes with a three point play. Down low, kick back up top. Long trying to drive into the paint, but Springboro's defense not really allowing a lot of in the paint shots. Cross court, Brightwell's gonna drive in. Up off the glass is no good. It rolls off the rim, out of bounds. It's gonna go back to the Panthers. See Poe able inbound it as Bryn Martin brings it up to court. Trent dribbles around a screen, ball tip down low, up off the glasses, up and good for Downing. Or sorry, Martin. They got lucky with that one, as you can see here. She passed the ball, tipped off the fingers of Miamisburg. Oh, right back into the hands of Springboro as they get that play. Long kicks across court to Brightwell. Perkins tries to drive in. Kicks it over and an illegal screen on the Vikings. That one was on number two and along. That'll be her second, team's third. Crozier can't get it to fall off the glass, but an offensive rebound and a foul going to be called on Lacey Perkins. It's going to send Morgan Meek to the line, I believe. That'll put Casey Garver at the line. Oh no, sorry, that is Downing. Misses both. Out of bounds. It's going to stick with the Vikings, though. Miamisburg bringing the ball up the court rather slowly this time. Long back up top. Brightwell's three. Rims out as it was halfway down, but Russo with an offensive board. Stolen away by Crozier. Great defensive possession there by Springboro. Not giving up any easy shots.
Down low. Back up top. Trying to give and go off the basket for Crozier is no good. Brightwell drives, swatted out of bounds. I oh, see you backed up there a little bit, Zach. You think that one was going to come at you? <laughs> yeah, I did. Springboro trying to find an answer. Went cold here the last couple possessions on the offensive end. over to the far side of the court. Downing down low. Turnaround jumper is no good. Somebody hits the floor, that was Morgan Meek. Just a tick over four minutes left. Haas has the ball, she's gonna drive in. Haas can't get the floater to fall. Poe able with the rebound. Up court to Meek. Up off the glass, no good. Nice rebound there for Long. And a timeout is going to be called by Miamisburg. So Springboro's had a two point lead now for probably over two minutes. And you just see that they're not able to extend that lead at all. Just stifling defense by Miamisburg. As you see here, we're going to get a live look in on Allison Jane's huddle. And I, if, if you're Miamisburg coach, you're not happy with how they're playing. They've missed a couple easy layups, a couple easy floaters, that they should be back up by at least four or five points at this point. Mm -hmm. It is going to be Miamisburg's ball inbounding at the far end basket. Let's go! Three and a half minutes left here to play in the first half. Perkins launches it. Her foot was on the line. Box out! Yeah, it's not really going to matter, though. No, that one was not very close. Box oh, out! I don't know if she... Maybe tried to rush it there a little bit. It was. I mean, it wasn't. It's not like she had the defense on her as Russo out of bounds. Going to go back to the Vikings. Springboro now. A couple turnovers here. The last couple possessions really leaving Miamisburg in this game. Ball tipped away by Meek. Meek. Back up top, Martin's shot is no good. Out of bounds, back to the Vikings. What an excellent defensive play there by the Vikings. Not allowing any easy points, getting back on the fast break. Able to get the stop. Really impressive. Bar or Haas, kicks it over to Russo. Cross-court Perkins sets herself behind the arc. That one hits off the back of the iron. Drive in. Trent. Three. On the way is no good. Offensive rebound and the putback for number Poe Abel. Finally able to start to stretch out that lead a little bit now. Four points. I believe it's the biggest lead either team has had all game. Perkins gives it off bar. Her shot is good, and some Miamisburg scoring throughout the last three or so minutes. Barr has six of the 17 points here for the Vikings. Just over a minute and a half left. 
Down low, loose ball, controlled by Martin. Corner for Meek. Down low to Trent. And they're gonna kick it back up top to Martin. Minute 15 left here in the first half. Trent guarded tightly in the corner. Gotta get rid of it. Finally gives it over to Meek, or Martin. And Martin can't answer with the reverse hook. Bar kicked up top to Perkins. Under a minute left here in the first. Perkins three, drills it and gives the Panther or the Vikings back the one point lead. Gee, so just when you think that one team's gonna start pulling away, the other team always has an answer. <laughs> Mimesburg on a five nothing run the last two possessions. That three answered back by Bryn Martin. She has 10 of the team's 22. Just trading blows right now. Two big time three pointers for both teams. Kick over back in the corner, long. Down low to Brightwell. Seven seconds left, kicks it over. Russo gonna drive in, blocked by Trent. And can't get the shot off. And that is how the first half will end. Springboro leading 22 to 20 over the Miamisburg Varsity or Vikings in our MVCC Varsity Game of the Week, presented by Sherholtz Printing. We'll be back for the second half. Zach, what do you think Miamisburg talked about in that halftime locker room to try and get back into this game? Only a two-point game, but. It seems like both teams just goes in spurts offensively. Yeah, I think they really talked about trying to limit the amount of points in the paint that Springboro is getting. They've definitely got a size advantage. I think they're going to try to double team them when they, as you see, a great basket there by Miamisburg. Long, her second basket of the game. but I think they've definitely got to try to double team when they get it down to their bigger women down in the paint. And another turnover for Springboro. Down low, back off to Perkins and Trent steals it away. Miami's been pushing it up court, over in the corner, down low. Ball out of bounds, gonna stay with the Panthers as Russo got a hand on it, but I think she thought she was closer, or not as close to the out of bounds line. Inbound to Trent, Trent loses it. Three turnovers and three possessions for the Panthers. Drive up off the glass, rolls in for, I believe that was Brightwell. That was Barr. And timeout called by Springboro. Quick 30 second timeout as Miamisburg has taken back a two point lead and on a four nothing run here to start this first or this third quarter. Yeah, maybe a little. Offensive slump for Springboro to begin this second half. Got to find a way to get their ball down into the paint. Also, you got to stop turning it over so much. So a lot of those points that Miamisburg just got came off turnovers or wasted possessions by Springboro. Springboro hopefully calming themselves down a little bit in that timeout. Meek driving down low to Trent, up off the glass, count it! And she's going to go to the line for the and one. And that is going to be the third foul on Anna Long. It's her third team's first. Let's see if. Coach James is going to take her out, and they're going to leave her in. The senior does know. I've seen her 
quite a few times when she gets three fouls, she just clamps down on defense and disciplines herself. Long shot is no good. And see wisely she gets out of there instead of trying for a loose ball. And a turnover thrown away there by Trent. Miami's for just getting a bunch of turnovers here on the defensive end, forcing Springboro into bad shots as that one was almost thrown away. And what a block there by Trent. And it's gonna go back to Springboro. And really what can't Trent do? She's only a freshman. She's, <laughs> the only thing she can't do is legally drive in yeah. boat. <laughs> I'm just really excited to see where she goes. Another turnover her here. Jump shot is good for Perkins. Oh, that was long, sorry. Another lead change. Drive by Crozier, kick over in the corner. Meek, three. Clanks off the back of the iron. She is the younger brother, younger brother to Khalil Trent, who used to, I think he just graduated last year for spring run. What a handle by Perkins. Jump shot might have been altered by Trent again. I believe it was. Maybe we can get a replay of that in the next dead ball. Down low, Trent, loose ball. Goes back the other way. Yeah, they know that she's got the hot hand. They're trying to feed her. And that time, Miamisburg just had it red. They had two girls on her. They were able to come up with the turnover. Russo trying to dribble away from Crozier. Perkins drives baseline. Can't or gets it over Trent, but can't get it to fall. Meek feeds it down low, and that's going to be a foul underneath the basket on number 30, Jordan Barr. Her first, team's third. Team's fourth, actually. Trent gets the ball, gets it in. Crozier launches a three, drills it. Trent with the assist there. And that is Crozier's first points of the game. Coming in, averaging almost 12 points a game. Down low, Russo up off the glass from Long. And this is going to be a high scoring game. Three by Morgan Meek. And Miamisburg's going to quickly call a full timeout as they're down 31 to 28 as Springboro's starting to come to life from behind the arc. Yeah, both of these offenses are really starting to come alive. They're just hitting shots one after another. And I think Miamisburg called that timeout to really try to stem the tide, kind of throw off some of the momentum that Springboro is starting to pick up. You see there in the replay, Morgan Meek, she did, just got the ball, barely set herself, and she just drills it. 4.01 remaining here in the third quarter of our MVCC Varsity Game of the Week. Presented by Sherholtz Printing. Just a few days away from Christmas. 2021 has went by so fast. You see there in the middle of the Springboro huddle, number 24, Chloe Downing. She has not come back into the game yet. Got into foul trouble late in the first half, but did have a couple layups and a couple free throws for the Panthers. Kind of really surprised to see her on the bench. As she has another height advantage to the Panthers when they already have it in whale in their favor with Trent. 
Long back over down low. Perkins, that one slotted away, turned over for the Vikings again. Meek kicks it over. Poable. Poable gives it back to Meek. She's hit the last three for the Panthers. Trent, got to get rid of it. Almost turns it over there. Martin. A lot of movement here by the Panthers. Trent drives, kicks back up top. Down low. Hands it off to Trent. Gets it to roll in off the rim. Beautiful cut. Beautiful feed. And a foul down low. The Panthers are really starting to gain momentum here. Oh, foul is on number 14 for Springboro. Grace Poeble. At the line, 22. On Long at the line to shoot two. Can't get the first one to fall. And Downing checks back into the game for Meek. Meek's going to get a break. A well-deserved one. Long gets the second one to go. Cuts it to a 33-29 game. Downing, down low. Martin. And a foul's gonna be called. It's like an off-ball foul. It's gonna be right here. Just a hard pick. They ended up giving it a foul on Allie Haas and foul. That's going to be on Chloe Downing. Actually, that was only her first. So, no, under, no reason why she should have been out as long as she was. So shooting two for Miamisburg. First one hits off the top of the iron. Russo gets the second one. Cuts it back to a three point game. Russo has five in the game for the Panthers. Crozier drives, ball poked away. Down low to Trent. Martin's shot is no good. Nice rebound by Barr for the Vikings. Miami's working tie it on this shot, or on this position. Two minutes left here in the third quarter. Bar Haas three drills it, ties it at 33. Yeah, and just like you were saying, they could tie it on that possession, and they did tie it on that possession. No team can really pull away. You see the great three. But a quick answer by Springboro. Is downing with another layup down low. First time out on the floor. Timeout called by Springboro. Minute 32 left here in the game, or in the quarter. And another quarter of just going back and forth. We've had a great night of basketball so far. Both of the previous games came down to the fourth quarter, and you really get the sense that this one is going to follow suit and come down to the fourth quarter.
Minute 32 left here in the third. As Miamisburg Long brings it up for the Vikings. And a turnover here for Miamisburg. Well, loose ball, Long up off the glass, ties it back. Poebel gives it to Downing. Downing's going to drive up off the glass, is up and good. Long moving quickly up the court. Long gives it over Barr. Just inside the three point line, no good. Russo fights for the rebound. Barr, or Haas's threes, no good. Loose ball. Back to the Panthers. Perkins checks back into the game for the Vikings. Looked like they took out Dara Russo. Eighteen seconds left here in the third. Kick over to Martin. Martin gets an ISO up off the glass. Can't get it to fall. Trent rebound, and she's going to go to the line to shoot two. Fouls on Bree Brightwell, her second team's fourth. She's got an opportunity to put her team up by four going into the fourth quarter. This is the first, though. Trent makes the second. Quickly puts it up court. Perkins gets it off and hits off the side of the backboard. And that is how the third quarter will end. Miamisburg trailing 38-35 with just eight minutes of basketball left. And really, it's still too close to call as both teams have shown they can come down from about four or five back, which both teams have so far in this game. Yeah, both have shown great resiliency. These are two high-powered offenses. Both are able to score in bunches. So it's really too early to call who's going to run away with this game. But Springboro has held and maintained their lead for the majority of the second half. Miamisburg is going to have to get a few defensive stops if they want to take a lead. I want to go ahead and look at the rest of the team's schedules after this one. Springboro is going to go to North Central High School in Indiana for their Indiana tournament they always do over winter break. That'll be the 28th and 29th of December after Christmas. And then Miamisburg is off until next Wednesday where they will play at Bellbrook. Bellbrook, a strong D3 basketball program in the girls' area. Perkins kicks it over to Barr. Or now back up top to Long. Perkins kicks it over to Haas. Long free throw line jumper is no good. Off the ball. It's going to stay with Miamisburg. Yeah, and they really got lucky with that one. Perkins gets the inbound pass. Long going to drive in again. Long passes off at the last second. Brightwell. Up off the ball, loose ball. And it's gonna be a jump ball in favor of Springboro. Yeah. 
Downing going to be the one bringing the ball up the court. And a forced shot. A turnover there for Springboro. Yeah, they were trying to get it to Trent. Limesburg was all over it. I am so glad that former Panthers player Peyton Nation picked that one up so it wasn't going to bounce over. <laughs> Kick over in the corner. Three on the way by Haas. Ties the game up at 38. What a game, folks. What a game. Haas has nine points, all from behind the arc, but none bigger than that one as it ties it up at 38 with just a minute or a minute and a half gone here in the first fourth quarter. Martin drives. Crozier guarded heavily by Haas. Trent has the size advantage down low, but they don't get it to her. Crozier gets it back. She only has three points in the game. Martin looking to get some separation from Russo. Just relentless defense by Miamisburg. And Springboro quickly calls a timeout as that would have almost been a five second violation called against Springboro. And Springboro's gonna only have two left. As you see at the bottom of the score tacker underneath the Panthers. But here look in at the Springboro huddle. Long time coach Tom Benjamin. A lot of people thought that the Panthers might have been had an off year losing three starting seniors from last year and then a transfer went to Fairmont in the off season. But Springboro has come back this year only with one point loss late in, or early in the season. And right now they sit atop G-Walk with the best in conference record. Miamisburg looking to play that same intense defense they just did for about a 45 seconds. Trent trying to get rid of it. Gives it over to Meek. Back up to Crozier. Crozier's three, skips off the side of the iron, out of bounds. Gonna go back to the Vikings. So the Vikings now have a chance to take the lead for the first time in what feels like forever. Perkins takes the screen, kicks it up top to Long. Long's gonna drive in, up off the glass and gives the Vikings the lead back. 40 to 38 lead, Miamisburg with five and a half left here in the fourth. And you see the replay. She just gets around, nice screen there by Barr, and clears out that left side of the paint. Great ball handling, she switched to her left hand for that shot. Downing has the ball, guarded by Long. Down low, Trent up off the glass, ties it up at 40. <laughs> Under five minutes left to go here. Long, guarded by Crozier. Perkins takes the screen from Russo. Haas drives back up top to Brightwell. Long drives in on Trent. Lost the handle on it, kicks it back out. Perkins launches a three, drills it. Perkins has eight points. As Miamisburg leads 43 to 40, 412 left in the game. Down low, turnover for the Panthers. And the Miamisburg can pad their lead a little bit here. They've got a real opportunity here. Long drive in, kick over, kick back up top to Russo. Haas drives in. A 
Moss kicks it over to Russo. Perkins trying to get rid of it. Throws it away to Downing. Downing up court, up off the glass, and it rolls in. Downing, you see there in the replay, just read that, that pass perfectly and kisses it up off the glass and gets a friendly roll in. Long drives in and was fouled. Let's see. Martin walking off the bench, off the court slowly. Or no, it was Downing. Walking gingerly now, off. Members, number 14, Grace Poable. Grace Poable comes back into the game for the injured Downing. 312 left here. Miamisburg up one. Perkins gets the inbounds. Long drive in. Up off the glass. No good. Trent with a nice strong rebound for Miami or Springboro. Launch three by Meek is no good. And Poe Abel saves the ball. And a reach in foul is going to be called on Haas. I saw you tense up there, Zach. Yeah, I keep That on was getting, a little bit too close for comfort. I keep on getting worried <laughs> that these balls are coming. You know, sitting down here on the court is a change in experience for me. Poe Abel gets the inbound pass. Poe Abel kicks it over to Martin. Back up top, Martin. She can hit a three if she wants to. And an illegal screen called against Martin. And that's going to be a turnover for Springboro. 2.24 left here in the fourth quarter. And Miamisburg clinging to a one point lead. Yeah, and that was a costly turnover. <laughs> Under three minutes to go here. It's really going to be who, whichever team wants it more. And you got to take advantage of every possession now. The way these teams have battled tonight, Long is going to be fouled by Trent. That's just going to show you that GWAP in women's basketball is completely up for grabs this season. It really is. There's a lot of good teams. You've got Springboro and Centerville sit atop. Springboro has the edge with the head-to-head -head matchup versus Centerville. Fairmont sits at third. Miamisburg sits at fourth. And then Beaver Creek is just a half a game behind Miamisburg with whom a lot of thought that Beaver Creek would be on a down year because long time and only head coach in history for Beaver Creek, Ed Zink retired after the last off season. Yeah, it's going to be a fun season of women's basketball here in the GUR Conference. And we've got a couple more games left throughout the rest of the year. Trent drives, kicks it over to Martin. Martin, no look pass. And now there's Poe Abel with the no look pass to Martin. A minute and a half left here in the game. Mimesburg up. 45-42, Trent almost throws it away and she does. And that might prove a costly turnover. A minute 30 left here. And Springboro calls a timeout. 130 left, down 45-42. And what do you think they gotta do to get back into this game? You want an in-depth play-by-play -play announcer, or you want the, for sure, they just gotta hit a three to tie the game at 45 answer. That works too. It, uh, yeah. they, they just gotta hit a three. <laughs> a minute and a half left in what has been one of the closest 
games we've had so far this season. And if, if not the closest, everything else has been a 10 or more point win up to this point. Springboro might need a little bit of a Christmas miracle trying to get in those holiday puns. Don't laugh at it, Zach. No, it was a great pun. I you, loved it. You, you've been in this game for nine years. You've got to try and work what's what in current events and what on the calendars <laughs> around here. <laughs> oh, well, here, okay, here's an interesting one before we get back to basketball. Is Die Hard, is it a Christmas movie or not? Well, I can't really speak to it because I've never seen Die Hard, actually. Well, then just side with me and say it's not. It is not a Christmas movie. There Dad. you go. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> And Miami's we're just going to call a 30-second or a full timeout. So what, what would you say is your favorite Christmas movie if you had to pick? You know, if I had to pick my favorite Christmas movie, I'd probably go with Elf with Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell is my favorite actor. I just watched it last night, actually. Cracks me up every time I see it. It is. It is a good movie. What about you? I'm going to have to go with Christmas Vacation. Another good one. With Chevy Chase. Yeah, I think that might be my number two. My number two would have to be A Christmas Story. Christmas Story is definitely in my top five. I think I'd have to put Polar Express above A Christmas Story. Oh, man, I don't know about that. That. Not a fan of Polar Express. Uh, it, it's a it's a good it's a good Christmas film, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give it top I'm not gonna give it top five category. Maybe it's the nostalgia speaking. It's just a film that I grew up watching every Christmas. Really gets me in the spirit. Yeah, and like you said, Springboro might need a Christmas miracle at this point. It's going to be my Mitzburg ball inbounding in front of the Panthers bench. Inbound quickly. Long gets it. Springboro looks like they're trying to foul, but not getting it called. As we approach a minute 10 left here in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to force a turnover here. And I'm surprised the foul was not called, and they foul Perkins with 108 left. You heard head coach Benjamin yelling foul at the scorer's table. You know, maybe they right were. Right here, I'm surprised they didn't call a foul there as Long went to the floor. And another foul quickly. Oh, Miami. Springboro had two fouls to give, and that's it. Martin is going to pick up her third foul. And that is going to send Anna Long to the line, shooting the one and one. Long makes the first, extends it now. A four point game, and the senior has 14, along with 12 here in the second half. Long makes them both, puts the Vikings up five, a two possession game for. Miamisburg, Springboro's got to get something quickly going. Trent almost lost it. Trent's got to get rid of it or they're going to get called for the five seconds. And Miamisburg's bench and fans wanted it called. 47 seconds left in Miamisburg defense. I think that she thought that she was going to get the foul on that, just kind of threw up a shot, but it did not get called. Long. Kicks it over and Springboro quickly fouls. I believe that is Russo, the lesser of two evils from the free throw shooting percentage. Yeah, and you got to think that's what they were trying to do. Maybe try to get it into a more favorable shooter's hands. Because I was surprised that they didn't try to foul almost immediately. True, and with, if you're Springboro, you got the ball with a minute eight left and you didn't get a shot off until 42 seconds left in the game. Just yeah. 
passing the ball, not getting any movement to the rim. Really got yourself down now, and now a six-point deficit. Now a seven-point deficit. 28.9 seconds left. Spring Grove's got to go quickly, and they are just walking up the court. Spring Grove's going to be forced to take a three. Martin hesitant, gives it off to Trent with 17 seconds left. And a timeout called by Springboro. Well, with a seven point lead and 12 seconds left, it's not looking very good for Springboro right now. Full timeout called by Springboro and just questionable play calling down the stretch the last couple possessions. I mean, Bryn Martin, why did she pass up that three and give it to Trent? knowing Trent is not the three-point shooter that Martin or anybody else on the floor is for either team. And especially due to the fact that they were very lackadaisical coming up the floor and getting a shot off. They didn't even get a shot off. They no. had to call a timeout because they were just wasting clock. But this one is definitely going to shake things up in the GWALK Conference standings. You're gonna have now Miamisburg, Fairmont, Springboro, and Centerville all with two losses in conference going into the holiday break. And it's gonna set up for a nice second half of the season run here for both teams, Miamisburg building momentum when they need to start hitting stride. Down low to Trent, Trent up off the glass. And Miamisburg, Springboro, I didn't think they were gonna foul. 2.4 seconds left. And you can see the end of the Miamisburg bench and their fans are starting to get excited as they know this one's all but over. Yeah, Miamisburg will improve to seven and three, while Springboro will drop to seven and two. It's gonna be a close race here, coming down the stretch of the season. An exciting time to be a basketball fan. And hands down, player of the game, going to be number two, Anna Long for Miamisburg. As she rattles home both free throws. 2.4 seconds left. Springboro's just going to dribble it out. And Miamisburg comes in and takes and steals a win on the road. 51 to 44 over the Springboro Panthers. Your player of the game is going to be number two, Anna Long, with 17 points and a win for the Vikings. Thank you for everybody who watched on YouTube and have a happy holidays and we'll see you back after the first of the year. Signing off for the rest of Miami Valley Communications crew, Jared Bergstrom, Zach Zimmerman. We'll be back after the holidays. Have a fantastic holiday break, everybody.